Of course, the race for the White House seems set now as Hillary Clinton solidifies her position as her party's presumptive nominee with victories in four primaries on Tuesday. It will be Clinton versus Trump in the general election. The former Secretary of State won in New Jersey, New Mexico, South Dakota, and as we said just a short time ago, the big prize, California, was called for Clinton. Meantime, Bernie Sanders took Montana and North Dakota. Let's switch over to the delegate count, putting Clinton on a collision course with Donald Trump. We've got it all covered, starting with NBC's Andrea Mitchell. She's been covering the Clinton campaign all along. Andrea, good morning to you. Good morning to you, madam. With that big win now in California, Hillary Clinton has her best argument for persuading Bernie Sanders to concede, exactly eight years after Clinton's painful loss to Barack Obama. But now President Obama is ready to go all in to make sure that Clinton can succeed him in the Oval Office. This morning, Hillary Clinton is making history. Thanks to you, we've reached a milestone. Declaring victory in the Democratic presidential primary. The first time in our nation's history that a woman will be a major party's nominee. After clinching the nomination Monday, Clinton last night added to her delegate lead over Bernie Sanders. I want to congratulate Senator Sanders for the extraordinary campaign he has run. Speaking in California, Sanders did not concede, but says he can do the math. I am pretty good in arithmetic, and I know that the fight in front of us is a very, very steep fight. Moderating his tone, but vowing to take his revolution all the way to the convention. Thank you all. The struggle continues. All right, all right. For nearly a month, Sanders has been on the trail in the Golden State, hoping a win in California could give him some badly needed momentum. But Clinton has still secured more pledged delegates and more votes. Overnight, President Obama called both candidates, congratulating Clinton on winning the nomination, thanking Sanders for energizing the party. The two men will meet at the White House tomorrow. Now the former First Lady, Senator and Secretary of State is turning her focus to the general election, hammering Donald Trump. Donald Trump is temperamentally unfit to be president and and in keeping with the historic night, invoking lessons she learned from her mother. She taught me never to back down from a bully, which it turns out was pretty good advice. President Obama and Senate Democratic leader Harry Reid both going to try to play peacemaker, trying to persuade Sanders tomorrow to unite the party, that it's time to concede if they're going to defeat Donald Trump. And now NBC News confirming reports that as soon as today, the Sanders campaign is going to lay off as many as half their campaign staff. Matt and Savannah, back uh, to you. Andrea Mitchell, Andrew. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.